everyone thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel i hope you're having a fantastic monday so last night i swung into one of my favorite dollar trees which is located on maysville road here in fort wayne indiana it is over thirteen thousand square feet and i was able to find some really cool new items also um i thought i had over 30 minutes of footage but when i came home to edit i realized when i thought i was recording i wasn't and when i wasn't recording i was so go figure so what footage i do have i did uh was able to put in this video so i apologize for that also here at the very end i want to add a quick clip of ruby on how she is doing and how she's looking also some extra long hysterical footage at the very very end so with all that said, I hope you all enjoy this trip. Of course, I gotta start off with some holiday decor. They are bringing out more of their Halloween items now that Back to School has moved to the back of the store. So here we have the Day of the Dead sign. And this is some window decoration, a 30 by 46. So they have the skeletons and they have some ghosts. If you see on the picture, some of them are for your window and your door. So be sure you read that right there. It'll say door cover. And of course, that one is bigger than the window. So just wanted to point that out. And this, I thought went on your table, but it's not. It's a wall border. So you put that up on your wall like you would, you know, like uh, wallpaper. So that's interesting. I don't think I've ever found anything like that before. Although I could be wrong. A lot of times I am. But all these were the skeleton head. And then up here they just have the dripping blood. And here's some Halloween tin pails. I think these are really cute. They had the mummy, the ghost the gnome which i think that belongs over there with the fall stuff but it don't matter and then of course we have the happy pumpkin they have these again this year this is going to be flashing so look away if you cannot stand flashing lights they have this in orange and black and very glittery the on off button is on the very bottom so these are always really cool to decorate your home with oh look at the little sweater pumpkins on a stick huh i'm sure they had other colors but this is the only one they had little sucker wanted to get back in there with his family cute i don't see any other colors on the packaging so i don't know and here's some stray pumpkins which Maybe someone changed their mind or they're just sightseeing in the other aisle. The neighbors have the good candy. How funny is that? You can always rip the hand off if you want to do something else with it. Little witch's pot. And the trick or treat candy corn. There's some of their gift boxes of the sugar skull, I do believe. Look how fancy this uh, hand fan is. You. and right up here we have a couple of different black rats believe it or not rats make wonderful pets i used to have hairless ones and they also have these skulls that light up as well let me take the little tabby thing out and these just change colors gradually so they're not a bunch of flashing so if you prefer that i suggest get the skulls over the pumpkins but the black one was not working how about an iridescent spider this is something you don't see very often at a pet store so if you want to go ahead and decorate your home here you go grab some iridescent um hard shell spiders long creepy legs here's some of their foam tombstones so it says there's two stakes in there, but I have no idea where they're at. Am I missing them? Am I overlooking them? Are they shoved into the foam? I don't know, but I was very confused. And they all say the same thing. 
And another one said double-sided. I flipped it over and there's no other side. I don't know. This one said wicked. Trick or treat. Here's some handcuffs, ages three and up. Interesting. No key. It's all right. How about some of the skeleton garland? 60 inches, you get four skeletons. And then we have the upside down skeleton bat. And we have some skeletons over here. You can always spray paint these if you choose to. And we have one skull left. Hi, buddy. And these spiders. And the bony hand. And birds. Skeleton birds. Look at this window. Uh, what do you want to call it? A window cling or something? It had little suction cups on it. How cute is that? Here's some of their long signs. This is 24 by 6. And it has this little charm thing up here. Very thin. And then they have the give things with some random twine wrapped around it with a couple of wood beads. Very interesting decoration ideas. Look at this. It's a tinned pumpkin that says thankful with a very long sturdy stem. Hmm. This is 23 by 9 by 6. Or somewhat, I guess. I don't know. Here's some lawn stakes. You get two per pack. So they have this bat one. And you get a chain that you can hook to another one, I do believe. And then they also have a two pack of the spiders. And then we have the pumpkins. You get three of them with the black cat. These are always cute to have around your house. They have it in three different colors. You get four per pack. And I like how they have little legs on there. You put little floral arrangements in there or candy. You have these bigger candy bowls. Again, they are plastic. Here's some galvanized um, shapes. So you have the cat, the pumpkin, the skull. And the ghost. Here's some drawstring treat bags. So you have the pumpkin, you have the mommy, and the bat, and the spider. Lots of socks. They have fuzzy socks and like regular. Socks, I guess. Cotton, I'm assuming. Keep your eyes appealed. Uh, Christmas is going to be hitting the shelves uh, this week. Just an FYI. I know some of my Dollar Trees are getting Christmas stuff in their next truck here this Thursday, I do believe. So, yep. Yeah. Bring it on. All those little pails up there. And the kitty cat. Here's some felt decorations that you can hang up in your home or your classroom if you're allowed to. Oh, they have these again this year. I like putting bath uh, salts in these and stagger them around the house to make everything smell good. So look how cute those are. And they come with the twine as well. Look here, they have some of the leather pumpkin clips. Those are about two by two. I'm sure they had other colors, but that's the only one they had left. This is a different color of this foam pumpkin. Again, you get three of them and they have clips on the back. But this one's pretty cool. Almost looks like snow. Huh. 
Here's a foam leaf, not foam. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think. Wreath, ugh, form wreath. Oh my goodness gracious. So look at these, you guys. These are like letter signs. Look how cool that is. And then they have the pumpkin shaped one with the galvanized leaf. And then they have these last year, the mason jar. And look, they even have the letters on the top there. So these are like 14 by 8 and 12 by 2. And I like this orange. Those are really neat. For those dinosaur train fans, they have some plushies. They had three different ones. They have the green one, the blue one, and the orange one. They also have these wild creatures. 3D dinosaur puzzle, ages six and up. I'm going to show you all the different ones they have. These always make great gifts, stocking stuffers, basket fillers, um, prizes if you have birthday parties or stuff like that. Or if you like to travel and like to keep little things like this in your vehicle or RV. Um, it's fun for the little ones to do if it's raining outside or if it's late at night. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that this littlest pet shop my daughters were obsessed especially Ava with littlest pet shop and it comes with all these stickers too just going to show you really quick on some of the new books I was able to find I don't spend a whole lot of time over here but I like to kind of show you on different ones that I do find Great deal for only $1.25. Everything in my store is no more than $1.25. What is this? The Art of Breaking Up. Huh. So, this is interesting. Huh. Well, for those that are breaking up with someone or you have plans to, I don't know. Please stay. Oh, that's sad. And look at this. Make your mark for cancer. Oh, wait. Is it the one that cancer? Maybe. No, maybe not. This is like a journal, which I love finding these kind of books at the Dollar Tree. I like to grab a few and keep them up for gifts. I know there is a cancer book somewhere. Hmm. I hope I left it in here. Lots and lots of books. And like I stated at the very beginning, I will do a short clip at the very end on Ruby walking around. I did take her little shirt off for a little bit so her skin can breathe, but she is doing very well. She got 32 stitches on the outside, and I think there's more inside, but we, of course those will um, disintegrate. But we probably have to, end at the end of the week, probably have to take her back in to have her stitches taken out. But for those that were asking, Ruby is doing well. Oh, here it is. Pretty sick for women with cancer. And I think a lot of you know my nephew that just turned 20 years old in June. He was diagnosed with uh, leukemia and still going through chemo. How to make your baby an internet celebrity. Mm. Interesting. Hey, looky here. They came out with plain white carvable pumpkins instead of the orange ones. But here they have them separately wrapped. But now you can buy the white ones. Yay. And the pool noodles. They have dark purple, light purple, and white. Oh, they have the initial pails back again this year. These are always really cute and nice. They have it on both sides. Sorry, I forgot to get measurements. 
And they also have these pumpkins with the letters as well. So you can get your initials, spell out your last name or little messages. They also have these wooden ones that they had last year. And look at these little decorative pillows. They do have a twine ropey hanging thingy maduber there. But you can always cut it off if you want to. This one's my favorite one. I did pass on these because I have no use for them, but I really like the colorful one there. And some more random pumpkins that are pretty lightweight. Here's some orange candle holders with this rose gold leaf wrapped around it. By Crafter Square, look at these felt finger puppet kits. You get five per pack and it comes with everything that you need besides the glue. And then they have this set. How cute. The ghost is my favorite one. And not only that, look at these. They are hand puppets. Felt hand puppet kit. <laughs> that monster is so cute 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 little crafts for your little ones or yourself heck i might even do one and of course we can't leave out boo whoa 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 what is this crafter square wood slices what you get two per pack these are about three and a half inch and three inch and they're pretty thick too they have the wood dowels again. You get 12, I think you get 12, or maybe 10 and they're 12 inches. But they seem really thin this time around. And you get 15 of the smaller ones. Haven't seen those in a long time. Here's some of the thumbtacks by Josh. You get 300. They have it in silver and gold. Here are some of their holiday tea lights. You get two per pack, and they do come with the batteries. But if the batteries burn out, you can buy a two-pack there at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. You guys, look how cool these glass bottles are. They are five by two and a half. They have it in these two different colors, and these are absolutely gorgeous. Love the texture, the shape, and everything. What? This would be really cute for like a potion of some sort for Halloween. And look at this ginormous glitter fern. 32 by 8. I'm sure they had other colors. squeeze -ums. See, my phone wasn't recording. And same with these. I got a picture though. But look at these skulls. How fancy schnancy are those? And one other picture that I got is some of these softy hair products. Again, when I go back, I'll be sure to record it if they still have them. Okay, well, that's the end of our Dollar Tree trip. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies to jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Monday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Oh boy. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh boy.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Josie's over here. Josie, squirt. Oh, it's pain. Oh, it's pain. Oh, God, don't pee on my dog. Oh, my. Woo. Oh, sight. Oh, my God. Josie, watch out. It's going to flick poop on you or something. Hi. You can come down. She won't hurt you. I don't think. You going to say hi? Hi, squirrel. Hi. Got a fancy tail. Oh my, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, is it blind? Josie, I think it's blind. Oh, it's, oh, it's gonna jump right into my dog's mouth. Oh boy. Oh, my dog shot. Wow. Don't pee. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna hurt you, squirrel. Don't pee on me. That thing just hissed. What? Oh, it did it again. Josie! Since when do they even make a hissing sound? Josie, shush! I want to hear nature. Do you have allergies? You sound stuffed up. Oh, I think it's a boy squirrel. I've never made a, I've never heard a squirrel make that noise before. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna flick poop or something on my dog. Josie, let's go inside. I think he has allergies. I don't know. Need some Zyrtec? Benadryl? What do you need? Huh? <laughs>